To set up detail views and enlarged views in Revit, uh, you use the callout tag tool. The callout is located in the tool tray to the left under the view tab, and then you can click on callout. Uh, the options bar at the top will uh, give you the pull down menu, um, and it'll give you a couple options either as a floor plan for an enlarged plan view or a detail. In this case, if we're going to um, draw an enlarged plan, uh, pull it down, uh, come into the drawing space, click to start a point, drag over, and then click to finish. Doing that creates a new view in the floor, plan, floor plans category of the browser. Uh, we can double click on that new view and it opens up a new window of the view that that tag's created. Um, I'm going to close out of that window and now that we're back in the floor plan view, I can double click on the tag itself and it'll open up that, that same window. Um, I'll go ahead and minimize and then tile the windows to see both at the same time. If I come into the um, floor plan view, I can grab the tag and I can start modifying its crop boundaries just like with a section tag or an elevation tag. Um, when I modify it in one view, it changes it simultaneously in the other. Uh, I can go into the new view and I can start modifying it uh, here also. The second crop box around the, uh, the outer one, around the inner one, is uh, a separate crop box for annotations. When you start drawing notes, it can start cropping that text separate from the drawing. We can clip, you can uh, click on the break icons and that can split up the view into as many uh, different ones as you want. And I'll click on do to get back out of that. Once the boundaries are set up to pretty much where you want them, you can also start it adjusting the tags, um, the head of the tag uh, in the floor plan view. Click on the tag itself. If I click on the top joint, I can drag the tag head around uh, the perimeter. The Grabbing the second joint will let me bend the, the tag head over also. So once it's placed, um, it's a good idea to name this new view. Um, you just right click on it and then click rename. That'll make it a little bit more organized and easier to work with in the project. Once the enlarged plan view is made, I can, um, I'm going to go ahead and close out of that window. We'll maximize the floor plan again. Making a detail view uh, works the same way. You're going to go to the tool tray, click on call out. This time at the options bar, I'm going to pull down detail view. Um, and I can come into the drawing area, click to start, drag it out, and click to finish. Uh, and this time it's created a new view in the details category in the browser. So if I click to expand that, I can double click and open up this view. If I grab the crop box here, um, I can adjust it uh, just the same way as an enlarged plan. If I want to hide uh, the crop box, I can use this tool at the bottom and make those disappear and I can always bring them back also. And um, as a detail view, you may want to change the scale of the drawing. You can do that down here at the bottom left corner. Uh, and you can change it to any scale that you want. And one more thing with detail view, and really any view, is you can change the amount of detail level that you see in the drawing. Um, and that's this button right here. And there's three different categories, fine, medium, and coarse. And that lets you toggle through all the uh, amount of detail um, that's available in the model.